Spring is the season that wakes me alive, and fall is the season to contemplate life. Oh. Vlog. In this video, we are going to be doing a DIY that I'm super excited about. Um, it's one that I've wanted to do for a little while. It's no sew pumpkin shaped pillows. And I'm excited because I can't sew. So we're gonna see if it actually works out to make the cute little pumpkin shape without having to do the sewing. So we're gonna try our hand at that. And also I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite fall outfits. So hopefully that can give you some ideas and inspiration to put together your own fall outfits as well. So yeah, let's get into the video. All the leaves are turning Okay, so Joann's was a success for fabric. Um, and the two that I ended up, the two colors I ended up picking out were on sale, which was nice. But I think I got way too much fabric. Um, I was just nervous because I didn't want to run out, but I think I got double of what I needed. But it's okay, if it turns out cute, then we can always just make more. And then other things that I got, so, for our pumpkin pillows, I wasn't sure how I wanted to do the stem, but a lot of people say they use these and then they wrap them with the twine. So I got these just in case I wanted to try that, but I might try a different method with the twine for the little stem. But we'll see, let's, let's get started. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so these are very exciting and fun for the girls to play on all of a sudden for some reason. <laughs> but these are the pillow inserts that I'm going to be using. They're old um, fall pillows that are not really my style anymore. So I get to repurpose them for this. So that works out good. So first let me cut the fabric. Say goodbye. But like I showed earlier, the stems from the flowers, a lot of people end up wrapping with the twine to make it look like a cute little stem, but then they hot glue it onto the top. And I don't know if it's just my hot glue gun, because I feel like I have like a really like cheap one, but every time I try to use it, especially on fabric, it's just like, oh yeah, I'll stick, and then it falls off like the next day. So I have no confidence in my hot glue gun and being able to stick a stem onto the top of these pillows and I've got the puppies that are rough on everything so I'm like I just don't see that happening. So my idea for the stem is I'm gonna cut a small amount of fabric off of this extra fabric I have here and then I'm gonna tie a knot in it at the bottom like a big knot and I want to cut the tiniest hole like right in the top of this fabric here and kind of thread it through and then use that as my stem base. I That might be a terrible idea. And obviously these are no sew pillows, so they're like always gonna be a little bit fragile, but I just feel like that's a better bet than the hot glue. So I don't know, let's try it. Let's see what we can do. Nashville And now I share this bed with someone new Something's in the way the sunlight's hidden It's got me thinking about you Maybe it's the long nights and the short cold days Or the rate that the planets change position Or maybe everything just has a time and place And that's why
Just like juniper in summer Oh, we were never meant to last Easy on the eyes But no way that we'd survive We were wilted, we were weathered Couldn't make it to September turned out it's so cute it has character for sure but for our first attempt I mean I'm really happy with it I feel like I could have gotten the seams a little tighter would give it more of like a pumpkin shape but it was actually really hard to like tie the twine it was actually like hurting my hands a little bit and the stem was a pain I'm not even gonna lie to you the like the wrapping of the twine so what i did was i started at the top with the burlap did a little one over the top part and then um started at the top and wrapped it around so that it would have a bit of a thicker base with the burlap and then i wrapped the twine around it which i feel like there's probably an easier way to go about it the way i did <laughs> but um you know we we got through it and I think it came out really cute. I mean, maybe if you look like super closely, but let's just not do that. Let's just not. And like I said, it's not like the most sturdy thing in the world, but I do know that my stem is not gonna come off. I'm more worried about the twine unraveling, so I'm not gonna touch the stem very often. But I will say that method of taking the piece of, um, uh, fabric tying a knot at the bottom and then a tiny hole at the top I think that's the way to go because it at least I know isn't gonna fall off because of the hot glue or anything like that's actually secure that's in there and the only thing I worry about is the twine but it's so cute I'm so excited definitely a little bit more work than I was anticipating but that's okay I have the white fabric I might take a little lunch break but then I'm gonna get right back to making a white one one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to be sharing some of my fall outfit ideas. I've been super excited to film this because I also have felt like I need to just kind of get all of my outfits together and in order. So this is the first outfit idea. I think this is super cute for more like the beginning of fall, maybe before it gets super cold to like go to a pumpkin patch or something. I've actually worn this to a pumpkin patch before. Um, oh, I wanted to mention that a lot of these pieces are going to be things that I've had for a few years. Like I got this many years ago but i will try and link as many things as possible but this is my first also kind of idea for making your wardrobe stretch because you could wear the overalls with a little t-shirt underneath if you uh, maybe if you live in florida or something and turtlenecks are just never going to be an option but then also adding turtlenecks underneath like sleeveless dresses or something like this that is one way that i really love to stretch my wardrobe but yeah i think this is a super cute outfit also i love these headbands especially for when like Maybe you're in between wash days with your hair or something. It just covers that up. And this is a really um, pretty neutral color for fall. So next up, I wanted to show a couple different ways to style just jeans and like a white shirt underneath. And one of my favorite things to wear in fall is actually blazers. I think they're so cute. And um, this is something that I would typically wear when I'm doing like my personal assistant week at work. It just, it looks very put together. It's so easy to throw on. It keeps you warm. And I just think these are super cute. I have a few blazers. A lot of them are in like the lighter like spring colors, but I think that this one is really nice for fall. So, and yeah, and this is just like a really easy way to style just jeans and a t-shirt. But another way that I have, another fall favorite is 
I think they call it a shacket, which is a stupid name, but <laughs> these are really cute and very warm. It's like a, because it's thick, it's not just like a plaid shirt, it's actually thick like a jacket would be. And I think that these are super cute and easy, again, just so easy to throw on. Here I've got another oversized shirt that I think just looks really cute. Again, just the plain jeans and t-shirt. And I'm actually thinking about wearing this uh, this weekend, but I think that these are super cute. This one's a little bit more thin, so you could throw on, like I said, like do this with a plaid shirt or just something loose. And I think that the, um, like the oversized look is really in right now. So I think that this one is really cute. Okay, next up is if you are looking for the ultimate in warm and, and cozy fall outfit is sweater pants. If you've not yet tried or own a pair of sweater pants, I highly recommend it. I've got, actually I might have another one, but right now I'm just gonna show two. I've got these in like this cream color and then these in this like darker brown color. They are so soft and so comfortable. They're like wide legs, so they flare out at the bottom and I usually just do like a cardigan or it's some kind of like cropped shirt underneath because they're usually very high-waisted. And this is just the, like, this is my go-to. Catch me in this like all fall, basically. Okay, next up is if you're looking for something a little bit more dressy. I really love pairing cardigans with like maxi or midi skirts or even dresses. This is super nice to throw over a long dress as well. And I just think it looks so cute. I have to share, this is my all time favorite cardigan. I got it a couple years ago. If I can still find it, I'll link it, but I don't know if I can. But it is just, it's, it's perfect. I can't even describe it. It's just, it's a little bit cropped. So again, it can go with all the cute, like high-waisted things. It's such a nice material. I love the buttons. It's perfect for matching with this kind of look. And then you could also pair this with either little tennis shoes and socks or boots as well and it looks super cute. Another favorite for fall are skorts. Well, I love them all year round, but <laughs> this is a skort. I'm not gonna make it look like I'm flashy, but I, this does have shorts underneath. Um, but I just love the skort with the big fluffy oversized sweater. It's so cute and you could even, if it's cold, you could wear tights or leggings underneath or something too. And it's just so cute and very comfortable. And I also wanna talk about these hats. These hats are some of the best. I've got them in two different colors. And these are just like the best fall accessory in my opinion because they go with everything, especially with, you know, got a light color and a dark color. And it just completes every outfit. Like, I, there's not an outfit that this hat's not gonna look good with. So this was a really good purchase. This one I got from a, oh, a J. Crew, probably J. Crew outlet a while ago. Um, but this one I got for only like $8 off of Shein, so I will link it or I'll link a similar one down below for it. Okay, next outfit is kind of basic, but a couple things that I wanted to share that I really like for fall is this like dark brown color. These pants are super comfortable, also they're from Target. And also balloon sleeve sweaters, there's something about them that just makes it look so, so cute. And the main thing I wanted to showcase in this outfit is my cute little bow. I feel like hair bows in fall are just, I don't know. I just, I love it. And again, this one was super inexpensive. I got it from Shein as well. So I will link that down below. Okay, so I technically shared this outfit already in a previous video, but I wanted to share it again because it's so cute. And another example of why this cropped cardigan is so perfect and versatile for a lot of different outfits because this top underneath is strapless, but you throw this on and then it looks even more fall and cozy and you also stay warm. So this is a really cute outfit. I can link it down below because I'm pretty sure it's still in stock. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. I think that's all the ideas that I have for now. I hope that this helps show how you can stretch your wardrobe a little bit too with easy things like skirts and jeans can go with like so many different things. So I hope that you enjoyed this whole vlog. It would mean so much to me if you subscribe to my channel. I've got more fall videos coming up and until next time, bye. One, two, three, four.